archives of civil rights history, certain names resonate deeply, such as Rosa Parks, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and others. There's one name that often goes unheralded though, and that's Claudette Colvin. Born in Montgomery, Alabama in 1939, Claudette Colvin was just 15 years old when she became a catalyst for change. It was March 2nd, 1955, when Claudette boarded a crowded city bus. In defiance of Montgomery's segregation laws, Claudette refused to give up her seat to a white passenger. This incident occurred nine months before Rosa Parks did the same thing. I paid my fare and it is my constitutional right to sit here, she declared. She was subsequently arrested and charged with three crimes, of which two were dropped, but she was subsequently found guilty of assaulting the officers who arrested her. Claudette's arrest sparked outrage and galvanized the African-American community. Even though many boycotted the buses, some saw Colvin as feisty and uncontrollable, said she lived on the wrong side of the town and therefore not worthy enough for civil rights leaders to rally around in the fight for civil rights. So, despite her pivotal role, Claudette's story remained largely overlooked by history. Nevertheless, her courage and resilience laid the groundwork for future protests and legal challenges. Claudette Colvin's defiance was a precursor to Rosa Parks' famous act of resistance. Today, Claudette's legacy endures as a symbol of strength and determination in the face of injustice. Let us remember Claudette Colvin and honor her for her role in the ongoing struggle for equality and justice. For in the tapestry of civil rights history, every thread, no matter how small, contributes to the fabric of change.